Hey guys, happy Tuesday to you all. I cannot believe that Christmas is this weekend. That seems so crazy to me. Um, I am done my shopping 100%, stockings, all that. I'm just, um, I'm ready now, bring it on. Um, my family arrives on Thursday, so that's really exciting. And uh, I'm, I'm just really looking forward to this weekend and I'm, I'm really excited to be around my family and my friends and um, it's my first um, Christmas with, Ta well it's our second Christmas together but it's our first Christmas together since we like moved in together um, so that's really exciting and so it's like the first year that I'm going to wake up with a boy you know it's like woo such a grown up anyways okay so the reason why I'm on here today is because I want to do a quick hair tutorial I recently just saw a photo of T Swift, aka Taylor Swift. Uh, she is such an elegant, beautiful young lady. She is just so I don't know. She's even though she's younger than me, than me, she's still so incredibly inspiring. Um, she's uber talented, and she just I don't know. Like you can tell, still she's just a really down to earth young lady, and um, I'm obsessed with her hair. She has fabulous like. A disheveled sort of um, chic look if that's if that's how I can explain it um, anyway so I saw this picture of Taylor Swift with three different hairstyles like it was all from the same day um, and she was like going to you know talk shows and then going uh, uh, over dinner and then going to like an award ceremony or something like that anyway so what you're seeing now is like the down uh, down look that Taylor often rocks she often does a middle part and um, she is not her hair is naturally curly and so what I'm assuming what um, her hairstylist or what she I'm, I don't know if she actually does her own hair but it looks like um, they use her own natural curl and then go in with a curling iron just to separate pieces and, and make it a bit more um, like sort of disheveled and um, separated almost okay so I'm using the rusk uh, curling iron it's the one that's narrow at the tip and fatter at the bottom um, to achieve the Taylor Swift curl. Um, the second look is she did um, it off to the side in a big chunky braid which I think is really fun and the third style was where um, you see her quite often wear it and it's uh, lower at the nape of her neck and sort of just all pulled back and like random pieces sort of coming down. So these looks um, are really great for the holidays too and they're really, really, really simple. And that's what I'm all about. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you how to get this actual curl. I'm gonna section the hair. I'm not gonna do the whole thing because obviously we don't have that kind of time, right? And there's a couple ways that you can actually use this. You can pick up the pieces and um, there's a small clamp on here clamp it halfway down and twist and then slide it through and so it'll slide through the clamp and then wind it back up just like it's a regular curling iron so this is I kind of did like a pattern so it wasn't too uniform but still didn't look too wild and crazy. And then once I got out of that, um, once I released it, I kind of just ran my fingers through it just to like break it up a bit. And then on the second piece, I would pick it up and um, turn the iron this way. So you're sticking, you're clamping onto the hair here and then winding it around. Does that make sense? I'll do a couple more pieces. And then when you let it go, it makes kind of like a wave. And then the next piece, I would pick it up and curl it. You know, so you're kind of getting, you're kind of getting a curl and you're kind of getting a wave. I should also mention that um, my red lipstick was also inspired by Taylor Swift. I think it's fun to wear red lipstick during the holiday season, but um, I saw her on a CoverGirl ad. I'm like, wow, so pretty on her. 
So I thought I'm going to pull off a serious Taylor Swift look here with the red lip and the curly hair. And so then at the top, same thing, like go through with that pattern. So you can turn it, I think it's easier to do it this way. So you're clamping it on here and then winding it around. You don't have to hold on to it too long. But see, it makes like, isn't that fun? And then this piece, you know, I would do more of the curl. I'm trying to show, see if you guys can get close so you guys can see it. But I'm, I'm pretty sure Taylor Swift is um, naturally curly. Okay. And then just let that go. I just think this look is really um, almost a bit surferish, right? Just how it, it looks. It looks very like, um, you know when you're like on the ocean and you get like a bit of sea spray on your hair and, and it feels kind of crunchy and like, not crunchy, but just like wavy. Like it kind of looks like you just got off your surfboard, surfboard if that makes any sense at all. I'm probably not making any sense. So I'll just do a couple sections on this side as well. You can hear there's some music playing in the background probably not because it's in the in the living room but um it's an artist by the name of jp maurice um i met him back in september and he's from victoria and he is fabulously talented like just crazy talented um has a beautiful voice uh he was at now which is news of the world my friend sarah owns it and um fell in love with his music. The first time I heard his voice, I'm like, whoa, you were like crazy talented. Anyways, um, he gave me a couple CDs and I just think he's incredible. I actually saw him again last Friday. He came back to Duncan and I went and saw him and you guys should check him out. He's on iTunes and um, I think the band name is Maurice Band. Also look him up on YouTube. Maurice band. You can follow him on Twitter. I'm pretty much a stalker now. Just kidding. Ah. Here's his um, CD here. Super talented. Okay. I'll finish off the top here. I should also say that um, in my hair already, I have the Kenra Volume Spray, just to kick it up a notch and help set the hair. Also, I don't know if you can see this, but while I'm curling it, I actually spin the hair. See how chunky it looks right there? I spin it so that um, uh, you get more of like a wave. One more piece. Okay. So this is how you typically would see Taylor Swift with her hair down and um it's pretty much for natural hair, I'm, I'm assuming. And I'm just going to show you what I saw in those photos. So, um, in the photo, she did have her hair off to the side, so she had it parted. It was off to the side. And she just, it looked like it, it just had like random pieces sort of hanging out and coming down. 
And uh, I'm just going to take this side, bring it over. And it was really, really chunky, the braid, which I thought was fabulous. And you're just going to braid it like you, how you normally would, just a big one braid. See how chunky that is? And it looked like it was pulled out, like pulled apart a bit. And it's like, it's chic, but young at the same time. And then it was pulled apart, so it looked even chunkier. You could have a couple pieces coming down on this side if you wanted. I'm just going to pin it all up. So that is how she had her hair. And see, it just looks really chunky and really disheveled. I think it's very Taylor, very cute. Okay. Fun, right? You can set it too. I think if I was to wear it, I'd wear it even more pulled apart. Like that, probably. Okay, the next look. It was parted off to the side, but probably not that much. Like that was pretty extreme. I'd say probably about there. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm gonna do for this, is take this top section and section it out, like leave it out, grab a big ponytail or a, or a clip or whatever, and just clip it out of the way, and then take this section, which so you can see it's just probably like eyebrow level, take this section and just twist it into like a bun. I don't know if you can see that or not. And I'm just using regular old bobby pin and pinning it. I'm just like, I'm pinning into it too so you can actually see the pin. There. I have to use a little bit more than most people. And then I'm going to let this top section down. And then I'm just going to pin, like take pieces and kind of twist them and pin them into the bun like this. You see that? So take them and twisting them and then pinning them in. The bun kind of acts as like an anchoring system. And so this look is really easy to go from day to night. And then same thing with this side. it in and she did have some pieces coming down I think I'm just gonna pin this in here like that piece down. It's too like 80s. Oh, looks weird. I don't mind this one actually. And just give it a spray. And that 
is my Taylor Swift inspired updo. Pinned to the nape of my neck. I don't know what the back looks like. Hopefully it doesn't look too crazy, but it's supposed to um, not look too perfect, right? So there you go. Anyways, um, that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully it wasn't too long for you, but I did show you three things in one. So, um, anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful, fabulous Christmas. I hope Santa is good to you or your husband or boyfriend, whatever. Have a good Hanukkah. Um, what else is there? I'm not sure. But anyways, um, oh, I also wanted to talk about my red lipstick because I, I'm obsessed with this color. And, and as a ginger, it is really difficult to find reds that aren't too crazy. Um, like you have to have, my skin tone, I need a little bit more of a warmer red than a, like a blue based red. Um, so I went on the hunt to look for my perfect, um, red color and I found this by um, Rimmel London. Uh, the color is Berry Queen, number 400. And I'll just swatch it on my hand for you. It's the color there. And then for the lip liner I have um, just the Annabelle lip liner in the color 205 cherry and they're pretty much um, identical so that's what I have on my lips Mwah. Uh, I think it's really fun I love the red lip look I think it really dresses up like a little black dress and, and makes it a little bit more festive and holiday so anyways, that's that. I hope you guys are having a fantastic evening. Merry Christmas to you all. And please be kind to one another. Love you. Mwah.